Hey there, truckers. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to another episode of Dustland Delivery. Quick recap. In the first episode, we were able to get the truck going. We made some trips. We picked up another co-driver. It's a farmer, which is normally not a good idea to have in a truck. And I uh, will explain that later because we're going to use this farmer for another purpose. Uh, we picked up some delivery tasks. Let me quickly show you where they're at. You can see it on the map, actually, because anything where you have a quest for has a blue circle around it. So right now we're in Tyrannus, and uh, we were given a quest by the mayor to find a mole. It's a, it's quite a long chain quest, so uh, we're going to be focusing on other stuff this episode to keep it more interesting. Uh, we have a quest here. We have to deliver some paint there. I believe we have to paint, uh, deliver some paint here. Then this is uh, where the main lead is. It's quite a trip, this one. It's where the main lead is regarding the mole in the Tyrannus. Then this is where we have one of our birthright land deeds. We're going to go there in a moment. And this is where the, the mayor also wants us to go to spy on Civitas. But first, we're going to go to the bar and see if there's anybody that uh, sells junk. Because you're going to need this junk. Um, your relationship with this character's faction are too low, they don't want to associate with you. Uh, no, I'm not going to spend money to speak to them, I will buy junk from this person then. Okay, we don't have to like each other, I'm just here to buy stuff. Alright, so you can buy iron, gears, widgets. Um, let's buy some gears. We don't have a lot of scrap, we only have 1900 left right now. And we're still looking for uh, somebody that we can uh, have as a permanent co-driver in the truck. So somebody who's, uh, let's see, I think we spoke to her, didn't we? Nada. If I click higher, 2000, but yeah, her numbers are really not impressive, so forget it. We can check to see if we can pick up another delivery quest real quick. Okay, so it wants us to deliver here. That is not too bad, really. It's it's only 900 scraps. What do what did it want? Deliver two bicycle boxes to Valleyville. Yeah, let's let's do that. That's fine. We're a little bit tired, so we're gonna dive quickly into the inn and take a the normal sleep, a cheap sleep. Confirm. Uh, we have food for 25 days. We have 10 tires. We have plenty of water. Plenty of fuel. So, let's go on the road. And first, I'm actually going to go back here to make that delivery here for the quest. Uh, let's see if they actually buy something that we can pick up over here. So, we produce rations, building materials, wood, mats, mat kit. Uh, they need mats. So, that is good. Let's uh, buy some mats then. Abundant items. And they only have 11. Hmm. No, see, then, then my profit kind of goes down, so I kind of want to... Let's keep it this way. Okay. And then we go to the map. We set. We want to go... We'll just stop uh, at several interesting spots. Uh, they need flower cloth, the button mushroom. Produces nothing, so we're going to go straight after that to them. There we go. Alrighty. So the first episode I was actually trying to get into a fight. An easy fight hopefully. Because we, we have a driver that is uh, pretty good as a gun. It's, it's pretty decent. 61% accuracy. We kind of want to have a co-driver that maybe is good at melee fighting. Uh, let's see. We can uh, do a search here. Infection is 21, but uh, is it right now it's 0% risk. But the more we search, the longer we search, the higher the risk is going to be. Found a little bit of scrap. Uh, so this, this is not bad. Let's just see what the, the truck weight is. So we have some space. Maybe I will do another search. Let's do that. Let's do another one. And we actually ended up in a fight. That's at uh, a loud noise there. We were attacked due to our high risk. And that is 
pretty high, actually. Let's, let's just fight. So, um, my farmer doesn't have a gun. No, she, uh, Mudskipper, well, I, I'm male, but it really looks like a female character. Um, so we're able to shoot slightly. The, you can see the accuracy goes up as they get closer. So right now I can shoot, but we hit for one damage. So I do end turn, and they will get closer. So now you can see that the accuracy goes up. We'll just keep on shooting. We have uh, 99 bullets left. We missed, end turn. We missed, and turn. With accuracy 73, we're still missing, so... Wow. Okay. That's quite, uh... It's gonna get quite scary here. So we see... You see that we're taking damage here with the truck. Okay, so victorious, but <laughs> it was not as smooth as I had hoped, and now the truck is slightly damaged. The hull has 68 hit points out of 100 left, so we have to repair that, but uh, it's, it's not it's not bad. At least, now you can see how the fighting works in the game, and I actually really like that, that mechanic there. Alright, leave city. Uh, how are we doing? A little bit tired, but we can uh, drive with that person, so... The engine is not overheated, but it's kind of smoking. But let's just let's just get going. Uh, uh, looks like an event, a random event. Train camp. You find an old train sitting on a railroad. Warm light. The warm lamp light and curls of smoke coming from the train indicates that it's inhabited. Um, I'm gonna ignore. Because there is a chance that when you approach them that you get attacked by bandits and stuff like that. And it's not something that we want to deal with right now. Everything is fine. Now, I do have to say that the stress level from the games I've played, the stress level is really staying really low right now. And I wonder if it has to do with the fact that we have that setup. Because I picked a setup where he uh, will, when he eats, it actually reduces stress greatly. And he's peckish, so that means that he's eating more often than normal. So it actually means that he eats a lot, so that actually would reduce his stress even more, if you catch my drift. That is the plan that I had, and it seems to be working so far. We haven't had to deal with any kind of high stress level for uh, Mudskipper yet. Okay, there we go. We need a little bit more scrap, so hopefully we can get some uh, some stuff traded there. And the rain is going to slow us down. It has an impact, a negative impact on horsepower. Uh, okay. Great. So we increase the reputation. We've got some cloud. Very nice. Let's go to the store. They were asking for something. Uh, mats, right? So let's see. That's not bad. There we go. Uh, did we have anything else in the truck that we can... We have some quail that they apparently like. But I can also cook quail. Probably going to keep that for, for myself, actually. Uh, then there's nothing else. Do we have anything abundant? Like tires would be really nice, but they don't have that. We have salt, which we can combine with quail to make a nice little meal for us. Uh, building materials are cheap here. We're going to need that for the settlement that we're going to take over, so to speak. Or that we're going to inherit. Let's just buy five. Okay. So the farmer gained a level, which it's all going into farming. Let's go to the bar. We can hire a veteran. Let's see if we can interact here. Uh, let's catch up. Okay, nobody knows that person. Do we have any kind of insight into what hunting 18 a 
deck 12. Two and a half thousand. Yeah, forget it. It's, it's just not, it's not worth it for me. Uh, by the way, get frisky is a, is a way to get rid of your stress. I'm pretty sure that the uh, most mature viewers will know what that means. Uh, then there's a bounty. That is very tricky because you can actually be going on a hunt for somebody who is actually <laughs> more skilled at fighting than you are. And then, yeah, that can be game over right there. Yeah, that has happened to me. Uh, we have some deliveries here, so we might want to check those out to see if we can pick one up on the way back. Where's that at? We're here. We have to go here for a delivery. Uh, what, what do they want? It's a thousand weight. Let's, let's just get that one. I'm not sure if I can get another delivery, by the way. It's snowing, okay. I think you can only have three delivery quests. Speech is too low. 23%, okay. Uh, no faction. Uh, not now. I, I'm not looking for a love partner right now. Not now. Wait 600. Back to Tyrannus? So, if I can pick this up, can I can I get this one? Okay. I'm going to leave it at, at that. Uh, repair truck. We do need to repair the hull a little bit. Uh, cost 64. It's really not. Uh, it's really not bad. Tires are good. Engine are good. Um, I would like some more tires because it goes really fast at some point. Uh, how are we doing? We're kind of tired again. Let's uh, let's get a, a better resting room right now. Just double checking here. We'll probably want to go. So this is an event. Side story. A stormy area. Thunderstorms. Okay, so we're gonna go here. So they need ore, salt, TX, and a whole bunch of shrooms. Uh, Valleyville produces salt. So we're gonna pick some of that up. Salt. Oh, uh, we, I think we bought here before, so we don't get a good deal here. Um. Oh, whoa, whoa. We're over the storage limit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's get on the road again. Let's get uh, some stuff out of the truck here then. Reset. We'll just go here. Close. And yeah, that's fine. City. Set out. Okay, low on stress, low on fatigue, of course. It's going really great so far. Uh, pool of water. You think you can see a fish in there, but you aren't sure want to try catching it. Um, we don't have a fishing skill of eight. That's, let's try. No, no luck. Set up. Because yes, that's what I mentioned earlier in the previous episode. The crew skills, some of them are added up. And some of them are the, the average between, in this case, the two characters. So, for example, foraging. Um, that should be... Let's see. Foraging here. Foraging is 8. So, that foraging is 14. Then we have crew hunting, crew crafting. Let's have a look. Because last time I looked, it was like the average. Because hunting is 15 now. I wonder if something changed here. We have hunting 26. So you can see already that uh, there's an airplane camp. Hold on. You spot a crashed airplane. Somebody seems to have made a camp out of the wreckage. I'm going to ignore. We have other stuff to do. But you can see that uh, one hunting is 26. The other one is 4. The average is 15. So some skills are added up and some are the average. We're driving across... No, I... Like I said, we have other stuff on our mind. We really want to get some stuff sold and uh, get stuff... Make some room in our truck. Okay. Uh, cool engine. There we go. Set out. Yeah, it goes really well with uh, 
Modskipper's stress level. You can see that she's getting a lot more stress and Modskipper's kind of staying really low. This is really very helpful. Nice. I believe when you do a delivery quest for somebody who is not as aligned or associated with a faction, then it will give you virtue instead of actually giving increased faction reputation. So we got plus one virtue. You arrived in Wise Women Gas Station. This gas station offers shelter for passing truckers. Its name comes from the crowd of fortune telling old ladies. Okay. It belongs to the faction Metropole. Uh, fortune teller, yeah. I... Should I do this? What is it? You enter a small room, a slightly unhinged looking woman dressed in strange colorful garb sits at a table in the center of the space. Mysterious arcane objects hang on the walls. What dost thou seek it today, wanderers? The woman cackles to herself. Uh, well, tell us a fortune. The fortune teller seems delighted when you tell her you're here for a fortune. If it's divination you thou seek it, this humble merchant of fate can be thy guide. For mere pittance. Well, why not? Let's just give ten scrap. I like thy tidings read grim. Pursue it, not new endeavors. Lest thou compound thine ill fortune. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds very, very positive. I'm glad we came here. Uh, we were able to sell something. They had scarce item. I think it was salt. I don't want to sell too much. So, let's see how much this goes. Whoa, that is... Oh, am I buying? Did I click buy? Should be buying. Why is this going up? I'm selling salt. Right? I've sold in my trucks. So if I sell, the store should go down, right? <laughs> uh, well, I will just sell. Okay. Let me double check. I'm, I'm slightly confused here. Why? Why does the weight go up if I sell salt? Oh, well, either way. Uh, let's see if there was anything else that we could sell here. Uh, nope. And we turned in that one quest. There's no bar here, so we can not pick up uh, any new uh, junk or hire anybody or pick up any other delivery quests, unfortunately. Repair shop we don't need. Is there anything abundant in the store that we... Fuel is nice, though. Let's uh, buy some fuel. Yeah, I understand why we buy stuff that would go up, and I don't know why it would... I find that very strange. Well, let's... Let's do it this way. We don't need this. Nope, we're fine here. I really have to check this, because I, I don't understand why the weight went up. I, I really don't understand. Uh, looks like we're slightly fatigued. There's unfortunately no way for us to sleep here. Uh, anything else? We're in good shape. And we were going through the swamp, so we actually better make sure that we get some sleep. So I'm going to first here, because in the swamp you cannot sleep. You can rest, but you cannot sleep. Get close. Leave city. Can I set up camp here? Ah, it's possible. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's do some cooking. Let's put the eight pork in there. We have salt, and then you can cook one single item, or you can cook the eight pieces in bulk. Uh, let's do it that way. So we cook some salt and roasted skewers. Brilliant. Let's leave the salt in there because we also have quail. Oh, it's quail. Bulk. Might as well plus that. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Now you can go to your truck to food. Now you can say that you do not want them to automatically eat these because uh, where well, are they at? These ones. And if you go then click on a person and you tell them eat, they can still eat them. They will not automatically touch them, so this is really great. You can actually see that these cooked items have better stats than the items that you buy. Most well, they reduce stress, let's put it that way. For example, rations are great, but they actually increase stress. And bread is pretty good with regards to hunger, but uh, stress, it only lowers it by minus two. But these cooked items, they lower the stress quite quite a bit. 
So I do that manually, so I basically, they, have, they won't be eating this, so you will see that when they start eating, they will eat the rations, because this is forbidden. And when I see that, for example, the farmer has a little bit high stress, I can actually tell him now, eat one salt roasted game, and you can see the stress go down. So that is, that is handy, and that's why I really like cooking in the game. Okay. Engine is looking fine. We're doing great. Let's go here. Is there anything here that they actually need? I think we looked into that, right? They need wood, sugar, canned fruit. Oh, they actually have canned fruit here. Oh, back to city. How did I miss that? Yeah, I know the truck is already heavy as it is. Oh. So the moment I buy canned fruit now, it actually lowers the... I must be misreading something here, because it shows that the storage actually goes down if I buy more canned fruit. Is it because the scrap weighs more? Is that the issue, that the scrap weighs more than the fruit? Let's have a look at that. Maybe that explains it all. Okay, so scrap. Ah, now where's the canned fruit? Should be fruit. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, because we basically bought, we gained twenty-five weight, and the scrap, we lost about what was it, thirteen hundred. So one scrap weighs one. So the more coins you have on you, holy crap! Well, that's I guess good to know. All right, um, depart. You should be good to go. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. I'm pretty sure you guys already knew it all along, but you were thinking, you know, mud, it's really very obvious. Scrap weighs more than canned fruit, okay? So scrap is very, very heavy. A huge convoy of vehicles kick... Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to risk it right now. We're in a swamp. You can't camp. Drive slower because it has a negative impact on your horsepower. Crew's exhausted. Ooh, I didn't sleep. I forgot about that. Stop. We're gonna rest. Rest again. And set out. Because I went back to the city, I completely forgot about the fact that I wanted to sleep in the camp. I did some cooking, though. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get to where... The point where this is a red bar. If they are that for, if they are that exhausted, they actually won't even fight, and that is really really tricky. Oh, we're almost there. Uh, we improve our relation. We get some more coins, some cloud. You have arrived in Swampy Glades Rest Stop, a rest stop located in the middle of a swamp, serving the fugitives who try to make their way across. Okay, get some experience. Oh, we're getting the level. I'm going to save this up, because what you can also do is uh, you can actually get a random good trait, or you can get rid of a random bad trait. So you need three trait points to take care of that. Um, random bad trait, random good trait, random good trait. So the thing is, is that, for example, if I save uh, right now and click on here, then it actually gets rid of one of my good traits, and it will give me some trade points and some books, that I, I believe. I've never done this, actually. I've never clicked here. But we might be looking at a random good trait, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one up. I will try to. I'll try to remember that. Uh, stress. Ah, well, let's eat something. Let's uh, eat this. There we go. And let's eat as well. That really, really helps. I, I really love cooking in the game. Okay. How are we doing in the weight now? Okay, we've got uh, we've got some decent weight. A little bit of space there. We turn our quest in. And the next stop is going to be... Let's see. Right here. We set. We're going to go right over there. What is this, actually? It's a little late gas station. It's an infection level 15. They need tea leaves, coffee beans, and milk. Okay. <laughs> Do we produce anything of that? No, we don't. Um, they produce fuel tires. Oh, that is interesting. We do want some tires. And then we can maybe go to this ramshackle landfill. Gotta love the name. And then we can go through the forest 
to Starlight City. We have a land deed here. And that's where we're going to start our settlement slash town slash city. Okay, is there a bar here? Perfect. Uh, buy junk. Okay, they really like each other. Oh boy. Okay. Sword dancer. Uh, fiber, mystery liquid, preform material. I like fiber because you need it a lot for clothing. Confirm. Uh, there's another one that can sell junk here. Wow, everybody likes me. Ladder, foil, glass. Compounds. Okay, let's go glass. Uh, yeah, let's do glass. Up. Uh, we can hire some people, so let's first interact. Your speech is too low. You utterly fail. What is the percentage? 33. No faction. No one knows him. Let's, let's catch up. Okay. I don't know what the effect is of this, though. Photographer. Um, attack. Yeah, this is really not impressive. I do want to see if I can talk to him a couple of times. The speech is too low. We're going to keep trying. Ah, okay. Well, intellect 27, speech 21. He's something like a philosopher. Um, hunting. He has no skill in anything here, though. Virtue 8 is not bad. 27 intellect is pretty good. Speech is good. Focus is good. So he's pretty decent with a gun. It's a philosopher but that we can equip with a gun. Kind of funny. Um, yeah, I'm going to hire. I'm going to hire Emperor. So, uh, any good delivery contracts here? Your speech is too low. 52%. Oh, we can keep trying. We have all the time in the world, right, guys? Wow. Okay. Uh, 600. Oh, bicycles again. Where do we want to go? Wait, where? Ah, oh, come on. Right here? It's 600. Oh, wait. I will, I will accept it. Any other delivery quests I saw here? It's a bounty hunter. Interesting. Wait a thousand. Deliver artwork box. Where is that city? Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, let's do it if I can. What's the status? Okay, we have this one, this one. The hall is in good shape, everything's fine. We have a little bit of money. What are, What is the weight right now? That is not too bad, really. So we're gonna go here, and then here. Okay, let's go. We should probably take a good night rest. Deep city. And let's get on the road. Ah, okay. Well, this is... Okay, thank God it uh, stopped raining, because that had a huge impact on our speed there. Uh, let's stop. We can actually do some hunting here. Uh, it doesn't allow me... Oh, you can't camp. Oh, crap. Some jerk has set up a barricade in the middle of the road. You see the wrecks of all the cars that try to break through it. What do you want to do? <laughs> I will just remove him from the road, okay? We're gonna bash us through it. Oh, she got a skill point. Uh, farming. Because we're gonna drop her off. Uh, you'll see how that goes. Um, there's no farming here, no camping. Yeah, because this is a swamp. I'm waiting for the forest. That's where you can forge and hunt. Watch sunrise. Ooh, I'm too late. So it's going to be cloudy in one hour. It might rain. A little bit cloudy. See how that works. Light rain in seven hours. You arrived in Little Lake Gas Station. Has it been abandoned? Produces fuel and tires. Oh, is that because... Oh, I was thinking I'm going to... I'm going to buy that here. Trade. What is this then? At the center of the city, a group of scavengers have set up camp in a well-fortified building. You might be able to strike a deal with them. Uh, negotiate. Okay, so you wanted... 
I don't have that. Abundant items. Do you have tires for me? Okay, let's buy some tires. Pretty cheap. Uh, do we want to buy some more fuel, maybe? No. Rations for more. Let's buy some rations. Got a good deal on it here. Confirm. Alright. Um, we can do a search here, because this is a bandit. It's a pretty high infection rate, though, so we have to be careful. Oh, looks like Emperor already got a skill level. Focus 16. Focus is going to be for the gun. Speech is pretty good, though. Crafting 6. Hmm. 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 Like this, twenty-seven. Okay, let's let's just do crafting. Not sure what we're gonna need it for, to be honest. Okay, so if we look here, okay, so they need ammo, building materials, medicinal herbs, and honey. They, we don't have that here. Let's do a search because we can also attract fuel, but we have plenty of fuel. We want some items. Uh, let's do two and a half hours. Oh. Sounds like an attack. Ah, looks, look, look what all we found here. Pretty good. We were attacked due to our high risk. That was only 8% per hour. I mean, seriously. 23 should be okay. We're gonna fight. And accuracy is 58. Let's start shooting. Minus 3. Uh, it says 45 now. We're gonna have a melee fight again on our hands. Well, at least we're hitting. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh boy. Melee attack 20. Where can I see that, actually? Because that's pretty good, actually. So we took a little bit of damage at all. No? No. Did we get wounded? I don't think so. I don't, I don't see any... I don't think we got wounded. These workouts, what does that mean? Increase fatigue limit. Oh, good. So that's actually really a nice character. Uh, did I get my second? No, still waiting. All right. Uh, well, that was not bad at all. Interesting uh, encounter there. So now we're going to go to this ramshackle landfill. Close. And I cannot sleep here. Well, we're, we're fine either way. City. And set out. See, you can see that he he really is low on stress. She's getting a little bit tired. She's getting higher on stress. So I should probably get uh, some food for her. See the stress go down there. Weight is fine. It's gonna it's quite a trip, especially in the rain, because we're crawling, kind of. Uh, yeah, it's not going to get much better. I'm going to honk the horn once in a while. Okay. They seem to be resting. Do some recon. You spot little more than supplies and travel gear. They don't seem like dangerous folks. Uh, we can actually trade. You can buy four tires, 40 ammo for 50. Oh, that is really a good deal. Uh, that's, that's, that's 40. Oh, we can also buy a few. Uh... Bad. That's a good deal. We need the bullets. Uh, check tires. So this one is... I'm actually going to set them up automa automatically. Spot tires, so we don't have to stop for that. But you can kind of see here that they all go down in percentage, of course. At some point, you have like 8 or 9 tires that are going to replace at one time. So that's why I kind of like to keep 20 just in stock. Uh, engine is fine. Let's go. What's the forecast? Nothing. Nothing to report. Which is fine by me. We're almost there. At the landfill. <laughs> yeah, we have to get this guy a gun. Almost there. Oh, 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 oh. Thought we stopped at the landfill. I guess the... Why didn't they give me... Let me try this again. Normally it stops. But anyways, this guy already has 90% accuracy, but his focus is pretty good. Accuracy. Determined by the focus and their weapon. So we have to 
kind of get that person a weapon. Now we can actually craft weapons if we learn. Uh, we actually learned this, so I can actually craft. Oh, look at this. We need a couple of more connectors and a steel pipe that you can craft, and then you can actually have a musket. Uh, accuracy. M1 accuracy. 30%. Well, the crude rifle is pretty good, actually. So should I craft this one, or should I... Semi-automatic rifle that needs two bolt-action rifles. Let's, let's craft this. And then, we can give him that weapon. So he's at 49%. So you have two people that can shoot already. And maybe we can... Craft, what is a magazine? It's accuracy, increases accuracy by 5. But we want that vertical grip again. So we first craft a stock. Oh, I didn't learn that. Ah, crap. You have to go to a library to learn that. Then you have the choke, and then you can do the vertical grip. We actually do have the material for that, I think. But that's fine for now. We're, uh... Let's see if we can stop at the landfill. That's kind of strange, because normally it... I don't know what's going on. Okay, now, okay. So now I can do a search. Unless I really missed something earlier. Two and a half hours. Of course we get another fight, but now we have two people with a gun. Let's see how strong they are. Enemy attacks between 21 and 65. Let's fight. 49. So now we can shoot. I can, I think, will they both shoot with volley? Okay, that's fine. I mean, you would think that the accuracy is pretty high. You gotta love the sound. Ah, oh, come on, that's at 81%. So, nice. Um, so the search again. I'm gonna search again. Let's do a quick search. 16 scrap, a little bit of that. Set and now we really want to go and start our settlement. Leave city. A um, little bit tired here. I, I don't want to camp here right now. That uh, <laughs> it's a little bit, little bit risky. So let's set out. Okay, so this is actually a good spot to camp. I'm gonna set up camp. I'm gonna get some sleep. And then we can hunt. This forest is teeming with wonderful creatures, just waiting for you to shoot them. <laughs> Search for trail. You wander around for a while, but fail to pick up any signs of animal activity. So what is our hunting then? 13 is not bad, but I think we have one person. I think it's her that really is dragging that average down. Still have one attribute point. I'm going to try it again. Hunt. Ah, okay. You managed to find some animal tracks and droppings. Now you can see it. Hunting. Locate. Hey, that's not bad at all. Oh, that's actually in the question mark. Oh, that's interesting. Well, uh, we're going to go there, I guess. Um, How are we doing? If everything's good, let's go. We don't need to... No, we're good. Yeah, forest uh, is really, really bad for your driving speed, as you can tell. Not, the moment it starts raining, you almost come to a full standstill here. Wooden crates. You spot a few unopened wooden crates scattered up ahead. The wood is rotted black, but the crates are still intact. They might still contain some useful items. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's... No numbers here, so we can search long, I guess. Farmer had a good time with the wooden crates. You break open one of the crates and find some supplies. Okay, okay. A little bit of ammo. Always welcome. Uh, we can forge here. But that's not what we came for. Uh, we came here for the... For the hunting. Set out. And we're crawling. 
Oh, now we're at a complete stop, so I might as well camp. Because of the weather. You can see the negative effect. I, I believe for... Uh, what is it? How many horse miles we have? Five, I think five or six. So we're a complete standstill. Uh, let's forage. Cut wood. Forage is, gives us shrooms, which we can eat. One, but whoa, that is really not good. What is our foraging skill? Fourteen. That's really not bad, though. We got two shrooms. Okay, let's keep driving. I want to get to that hunting. Uh, here we go. Alright. The way this works is that you have three options. You can try to approach and get closer. Which lowers the distance between you and the, the quarry, the game, the target. You can shoot, but you can see that we basically have no chance of hitting it. Or you can hold your breath. And that will lower the alertness of the quarry or the game. So it's kind of, you kind of have to look at this number. So we're going to try to approach. It will increase the alertness. 53. Now we have 70% chance of hitting. Or we can hold our breath, which will lower the alertness. But then the, the, the target will wander further away. I think 70% is pretty good. That's hold breath. Okay, so now we can... 50, we can approach. Okay, now we can... Whoa, whoa. So now we have a success rate of 110%. That basically means that the target is throwing itself at our gun. So we've got 40 pheasants. And that is really, really awesome. Because we can cook those. So we're going to camp. Kitchen. Not to be careful, though. This is uh, this is a little bit too high. Forget it. Um, we'll cook later. I don't want to... Because the more... I, if I'm going to cook 40 pheasants, for example, it's going to take me hours. And every single tick will increase that... Uh, that the infection rate, the chances you're going to get attacked. So we're going to go there. We're almost there, guys. We're going to create our own little settlement there. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Yeah, forest is great for hunting, but it's really, really slow. Now, you can upgrade. You can you can find certain parts, and the craft certain parts will actually make you travel slightly faster through the forest. So that's something that we definitely need to look into, especially since we're hunters. But that is the plan. Uh, complete sense. Camp. Kitchen. Cook. We have 22 salt. We have 40 pheasants. Bulk. Firm. Look at how long that takes. Salt roasted game. Now we can click on Mud Skipper. You can say eat. Salt roasted game is uh, it's not as not as good as this one actually. So it's minus thirty eight still. So it's still it's still good. It really controls our stress levels. Now I do want to set it up that uh, we don't automatically eat those. I'll control that. They're a little bit stressed there, uh, all of them. So we might as well give them some uh, get that stress down here. Have a party, right? Oh, she, uh, she's in hungry. Okay. So that really helps. Look at the stress level. Because the other way to deal with stress, for example, is if you go into a town, you can get frisky. But then you might spend four or five hundred or even more scrap on get, being frisky with somebody to reduce your stress. So I'd rather shoot some quail, cook it up, and we'll eat it that way. All right, uh, the weather is that's improved, so we're almost there. We're going to be leaving the forest soon enough. But Maya the moon it takes a little while, but it lowers the stress. Set out. 19 or 18 tires food for 19 days there we go you have arrived in starlight city once a small village this place has fallen into decline maybe the power of free enterprise could return it to its former glory okay uh, let's go see the mayor entering city hall you're greeted by an unbearable stench like somebody was storing rotten meat in an old gym sock there's trash everywhere and sitting on a particularly large pile of trash is a slovenly man with a scraggly beard Upon seeing you enter, 
he scrambles to his feet. Guess this is the mayor. We're here to claim a land deed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He flashes you a grin, missing a few teeth, and proudly pats his garbage pile throne like it was a prized racehorse. Henceforth, this really shall be in your service. So the, uh, the, the one deed, we didn't get anything. We have to work for it. But this one is, this mayor is eager to give it to us. Okay, um... Just like that. Why? Whatever do you want, or whatever do you mean? You are the rightful owner of the city, and thus I am honor-bound to serve you. It's only natural. Okay, well, um, we'll just get started. Getting this city up and running won't be easy. You might be able to salvage some construction material from all the debris scattered around town. Okay, so we got some construction materials. Alright, so that is basically going to be our little town. Oh, look at all the experience that we got. Turn the lights back on. So that is going to be the quest that we pick up here. Restoring the city to its former glory won't be easy. If you succeed, however, it will be great for your reputation, not to mention your wallet. So it wants us to get to Prosperity level 18. So right now, there's really nothing working in this town at all. Let's see if we got a second point. Oh, I got two points. Let's see. Let's do a random good trade. Gaining a particularly good trade may also grant you a bad trade. Well, let's try this. So we can have a drinker. Drinking alcohol. I, I don't want to be a heavy drinker. Axe Racer. Driving speed plus 10%, but he's aloof. Rarely falls in love. Hmm. Well, this is not really... This is not really great, is it? I will do the Axe... I will do uh, this one then. Axe Racer and aloof then, I guess. Okay. Why would I want to be a heavy drinker? So where does it show them? Oh, there we go. But that is not bad, because if we drive fast, we just don't fall in love. I'm not sure how important that is in the game. Alright. We want to give her more farming. Okay. Because we're going to drop her off. And we want to use him to either start shooting better, or some crafting. Let's do crafting. Brilliant. Okay. When you click on Manage City, you can actually kind of see what they have. So there's some apartments there. We can rest there, we can sleep there, but you can see that it's a level 1 rundown apartments. That's what we currently have. We don't, we have an abandoned depot, level 0. So right now we do have a depot, and it allows us to actually store items there up to a capacity level of 10,000. So you can see that you can upgrade it, and what is needed to upgrade this. And when you upgrade it, what the prosperity level is going to be. For example, right now, the prosperity in Starlight City is 3. Is because our rundown apartments provide us with three prosperity. If we upgrade this, then it would actually be prosperity five. So it would actually increase our prosperity. But you need a lot of materials for that, and it's really not that important right now. The abandoned depot, upgrading it doesn't do anything for our prosperity. It gives you simply more space. We don't need that right now. The farm is something that we do want to do. In order to increase or upgrade the farm which is level 0 right now, you need Prosperity 5. We don't have that yet, but we can work on that. There's a dried-up water pump, so in order to upgrade that, we actually gain one Prosperity level, and we only use one material, so let's get that upgraded. Now it's an ordinary water pump. You can upgrade it again, and then uh, buildings actually max out, so you cannot upgrade. Some buildings that you upgrade or make available, they come with jobs. So you can actually have somebody here who is going to be gathering that water for you and puts it in your depot. And as far as I know, the workers that you have in your town, they don't actually consume food and water. So this would actually be poor, pure profit. You just put them to work, and that's why we have the farm girl with us. But um, I'm not going to do this right now, because I really want to use her for farming itself. But you can basically assign the farm girl here, and then she will get water, depending on her skill. Procurement office, you can actually click on the question mark to see what it does. It would actually give us ore if we would have somebody, if we would actually have somebody working there. So we have to upgrade it first, then assign somebody to the job. I'm not interested in that right now in the industry at all. Foundry, you can actually see what it does. It can take ore, turn it into ammo, or it can take ore, turn it into jewelry, and you can see how many days it takes. Those days are really 
days in the game. So that is quite a while, seven days. It takes quite a while. Then you have heavy industry and the defenses. We want to increase the defenses. Upgrade. So now we have solid defenses. But look, we have the prosperity level six. And we're going to go back up to the farm. And now we can upgrade. That puts us prosperity seven. The overgrown farm has been upgraded to a degraded farm. Sounds very positive, doesn't it? So you have jobs. We can actually change the jobs here. So you have two jobs there, actually. You have an orchard and a farm. But you can, for example, change the production. Uh, we want to make vegetables. Right? So we're going to assign a farm girl. You can see that required farm with 15. You can assign somebody with lower skill than 15, but then they will not produce that many vegetables. It's, it's, it's not worth the time. Now we have somebody who's actually farming level 19. She's going to be producing farm vegetables 13 in 7 days. Let's do it that way. So we dropped our farm girl off. So the thing is, that this is what makes the game interesting, because now we only have two people in the cabin, and it changes our crew score. You can see that some scores are now really, really high, like hunting, because she was she was kind of pulling that skill down. So in some areas, because some of these skills are additive, and some are like, you know, the average, in some areas you kind of lose out a little bit. I think virtue, for example, is something that adds up, so we now only have 11. But for example, hunting... And uh, attack, I think they are like where well, they take the average because we dropped her off. We actually are better at fighting, I think. So um, I don't know why the red dot is still showing. I can't do anything here. We do have a library here, so that is really interesting because we did want to. I'm actually going to go this way. Gun parts. We did want to learn this. We have a high intellect level, so we are. Usually going to be successful studying anything. Now I can craft that stock. And then we can go to the vertical grip. We actually have enough resources for that. Perfect. So let's learn that. 100% success rate. Just take some time. Then, because it, it actually, anything you can craft, it uh, soars up and it puts on the top. So vertical grip we can craft. Perfect. Let's get it equipped here. 56 and 58. So we have a hunting dog. We have to get him some kind of animal too, because I really want to get that hunting higher. But this is this is pretty good. So the crew focus is 18. Um, let's see, we have focus 16, focus 18. I'm not sure if that looks maybe at the highest number. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on that. But these two guys have both guns and they're pretty decent at shooting, so that really, really helps. Okay. The town is called Starlight City. I don't think you can rename this. But the chance of attack is 0%. Let me click on that. And I'll explain this. Because the higher your city's prosperity, the more likely it is to be attacked. You will not be attacked if your prosperity is 10 or lower. So we're going to keep it on below 10 on purpose. Until we're basically ready to really you know, invest in the city and expand it for a great deal. And pump the numbers up quite substantially. But until then... We keep it below prosperity of 10. We have a farmer. We can assign another farmer if we find one. Bar, maybe? You can you can get... Normally, you can go to the labor market, but we don't have a labor market because it wants us to reach prosperity 12 before we can enable that. So and over here, you, you're not going to really find a farmer. You, know, you, you don't want to spend 1500 on a farmer. You'll just want to buy a farmer somewhere and level them up and drop them off. But let's see. There's a... Delivery contract. Uh, no, I don't want... No, no, I'm not looking for love right now. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. We have too many contracts. So we cannot do anything. Alright, so we have scrap. We have enough fuel. We have plenty of water. We have ammo, food for 27 days, and 18 tires. Let's look at Manage City if there's anything else we can do. We don't want to get this too high, though. So the next time you can upgrade your farm is a prosperity level 10, but that is fine. We, do, we don't need it. We basically have two jobs available. You can click on jobs. Uh, three jobs, actually, because we also have a defensive wall that nobody's going to attack us. 
But right now we have places, two spots available for people to work. This one only requires farming level 5. There's basically pumping water so that you don't need to be very skilled for that. But if you want to work, for example, in the orchard, then you need farming 15. And it produces fruit. So we should be picking up two more farmers, putting them to work, because this is going to give us income and food and water. So it's uh, it's pretty nice. And it uh, adds a lot more depth to the game, which I, I think is really awesome. Okay, so let's look around, because we still have some tasks. Four days for this one. You might want to look at that one. Which one is that? Where do they want us to go? Uh, where? We're here. They want us to go there. Four days. Okay. Uh, then we have one here. This is the mall. This is this one about delivery. Our vehicle. 17 days. Well, we want to make our way over here. That's four days. Oh, I'm, I hope I'm going to make that, actually, because it's quite a trip. We have to go... Oh. Yeah, that's... Uh... That is quite a trip. Now, we have a slightly faster driver, so that helps, but um, I, I'm not sure if I want to go to the infect zone here. Well, let's, let's give it a shot. We have enough fuel for 12. Yeah, we're fine there. How are we doing? Do you want to get some sleepies? It's nice sleeping in your own apartment. Brilliant. We have enough ammo. Let's get the go. A repair shop. I don't think we need to repair anything. No. Okay. And engine is not cool. But we're fine. We're fine. So that is kind of how I approach the game. I'm not sure if this is the right way, but I basically want to keep two people in the truck that I want to keep around. That I want to kind of keep high levels. For example, for foraging, hunting, fishing, that kind of stuff. So it can be self-sufficient. And uh, once in a while, we then will pick up farmer or whatever we have to drop off. There's a wrecked old car by the side of the road. The windows are broken and the tires are missing. You want to see if there's anything useful inside. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to... Yeah, that's, let's do the search. You don't find anything useful. Now, that's disappointing. Oh, a level. Attack 10. Focus. Focus makes him better at shooting, but uh, let's see, crafting, intellect, farming. We, we Yeah, we don't need that. What is the cooking on the other guy? Hmm. Husbandry. That is how good you are with animals. So he, he will get a either an attack dog or a hunting dog. So we kind of have to look into that. Fishing. Yeah, it's not really great, is it? Let's do focus. There we go. Uh, how are we doing? We're good to go. Let's go. Because we, we're in a rush. Does it actually show how long we're estimated to be here? Because this is not the correct waypoint, is it? Is that the correct? No, see, this is 348. So, not sure what, what, what waypoint it's doing right now. I don't see the one on the map. All right, there we go. Look at us go. I'm a little bit aloof, but I drive faster. <laughs> we uh, change the tire automatically. Yeah, it's going fine. We're a little bit tired there. While driving through the dust lens, you pick up a strange radio frequency. It seems to be a repeating SOS signal, broken up only by a pre-recorded voice reading out a set of coordinates. You check the coordinates against your map and find that it's not too far from your current location. How convenient. Uh, let's go there. The broadcast coordinates lead to a small cabin. The exterior is caked in dried blood in a myriad of patterns, from splatters to drag marks. Okay, it looks like somebody visited there. Uh, yeah, let's... Um what is riskier? I think open the door is probably less risky than knocking on the door. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot. <laughs> you need to focus over 30. Let's open the door. You begin making your way deeper into the cabin. The lights are off and the windows have been boarded up, leaving the interior pitch black. Fumbling around, you manage to find what feels like a candle. I'm going to wait. You're still unable to see anything. Uh, we're going to light something up. Uh oh. Okay, you search the cabin carefully. It seems relatively ordinary until you find a trap door that the owners of the cabin seem to have tried to keep hidden. You descend into the basement and find yourself in a small room with a reinforced and padlocked door in front of you. 
Uh, do we want to force the log? Well, we, we don't. Ah, is that why you need crafting? We're gonna we're gonna try to force the log. I will try again. Okay, the basement is massive, easily larger than the cabin itself. Based on the rows of cells, it seems to have been a prison of some sort. Several of the cell doors appear to have been forcefully pried open. On the table next to you is a still working ham radio, likely the source of the broadcast as well as a ladder in the box. Uh, let's read the ladder. Dear Stranger, if you're reading this, we're probably dead by now. Great. Either way, congratulations. You've managed to stumble upon hell on earth. The scum who ran this place used to kidnap folks from the nearby villages, keep them locked in here, then butcher them for meat. We had the misfortune of being some of these sausages in waiting. <laughs> One day, these brain, brain geniuses kidnapped a guy who turned out to be infected. I could hear the sweet, sweet carnage all the way from here. They must have been wiped out, because after that day, nobody ever came down into the basement again. We managed to force our cell doors open after a while, but we couldn't find a way to open the basement door. The radio still works, so we've been broadcasting an SOS, hoping that some kind of soul, or at least a curious one, would come save us. Thanks for coming. Even if we're already dead, feel free to take what's in the box. It's like we're in a Hollywood movie. It's awesome. So we can open the box, acquire a core, which is kind of important. Oh, and scrap for upgrading. Uh, we can search the prison. Let's do this. You find a person in one of the open cells. He's delirious, but he's still breathing. Uh, trucker. Oh, okay. A burly guy named Prisoner. <laughs> he's happy, but he's now in our truck. So he's one of a crew. What, what, what do we have with this guy? Uh, his numbers are very, very average. Um, I, th I think I'm going to make him into uh, maybe a farmer. <laughs> Saves us the cost of recruiting one. Where are we at? Okay, so we're there. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to leave it here, guys. Uh, I think it's a very interesting episode. We now have a little officially a town. I wish I could change the name, but I don't think I can. So uh, maybe the developers will still do that at some point. So we can call this Mud City or Mud Pile or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm having a great time with this game. I really like this game. So it's building up your own crew and uh, it, it adds a lot of depth to it because they level really fast in the truck and then you can drop them off and who do you want to keep around and who do you want to work in your town. And it's it's very interesting and I only scratch the surface. I I don't know what to expect for on to be honest. This is kind of how far I once got before. So, But I, I'm really having a blast here. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.